Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. So as you already know or if you don't know, I am Rongyang. I dwell in the Himalayas below the mighty Kanchenjunga from the Myalyang. I am the ancient magician, the wizard. So Hiker Ansul had requested me to tell you the stories of the lepchas, the ancient aborigines of Sikkim. So in continuation of that story, so today is the second one. I hope you all are ready. So let's do this. As you have seen, the first parents of the lepchas threw away their first seven children into the jungle. If you have not heard of this story, then I'll give you the link so you can check it out. So these children, these seven children grew up into powerful demons. The eldest among them, who was called Lasso Mung Ponu, became the king of the demon world. He decided to take revenge on the Lepchas. Was it now that their parents who threw him and his brothers so cruelly into the jungle while they were just infants? He challenged the Lepchas. You sinners, I shall destroy you and rule over the Denjong. Come and fight you dare if you dare. And when nobody came forward, he shouted in anger and hatred. Why do you hide, you cowards? The Lepchas had no alternative but to fight. They took out their bows and arrows and went forth to fight the demons. The battle raged for many days. The Lepchas fought bravely. Arrows flew all over and many died on both sides. A great number of Lasso Mungpono's demon warriors fell down dead at each swing of the powerful Lepcha sword. Lasso Mungponu was furious and cried out, What? They dare to fight me? Using the, his demoniac powers, he created a type of illusion in the battlefield. At one time, the Lepchas found themselves fighting with a host of rats. At another time, the opponents turned into bulls or tigers. This frightened them and made them lose courage. They ran away in confusion, took shelter in jungles and caves up on the hills. For many years, the Lepchas su suffered a lot in the jungle shelters. They were afraid of many being chased and killed by the demons at any moment. They moved about in fear and did not dare to come out in the open. At last, they all assembled at a secret place and there was only one thought in their mind. How to bring an end to our misery? The demons have become too powerful and too cruel, they said. Only God can help us. And they prayed to the God room. Oh God, we are helpless without you. For many years now, we have been suffering under the operation of the demons. We have become homeless, running from cave to cave in fear of the demons. God, have mercy on us. Save us from the demons. The god Rome heard their prayers. One night he appeared to an old Lepcha and told him that he had decided to save the Lepchas. The Lepchas rejoiced when they heard this. The god Rome took a handful of pure snow from the top of Pandim, Mount Pandim, situated near Kanchanjanga and created a strong young man out of it. This man he called Tamsang Ting, which meant the savior. The God said to Tham Sang Ting, Look, you are the dearest of my creations. I grant you supernatural powers. You'll go down to the earth and kill all the demons and save the Lipcha people. Now, Tham Sang Ting first came to a place called Thar Kol, Thar Kol Thane Thane, which meant a place where the Lipchas got their freedom. There he gave out a thunderous laugh. <laughs> The laugh was so loud that it shook the mountains and made Lasso Mungponu get up from his sleep. Lasso Mungponu sent his demons to find out who was creating this disturbance. The demons saw Tamsang Ting and were scared at his very sight. They ran back to their king and said, Oh Lord, we have seen the man. He is indeed a powerful man. His very laugh shakes the earth. We are afraid even to go near him. Hear us, your majesty, he is great. Get away, you cowards, shouted Lasso Mungponu. He then sent his minister to find out the facts. The old minister went to Tamsang Ting directly and addressed him. Oh, the mighty one, who are you? What have you come here for? I am sent by the king of Denjong to find out the truth and I demand an answer. 
Tham Zang Ting replied, O oh, minister, I am the dearest of the God's creation. I have been sent to kill the king of the demons and save the Lepcha people. Tell your king that if he wants to stay alive, he should make haste and leave Denjong at once. He can go down to the depths of the world. I could turn you into asses if I wish, said Tham Sang Ting. But I will not because of your old age. Now hurry up and go to your king and tell him what I have said. The minister went back to Lhasa Mung Ponu and narrated the whole incident. The demon king turned red with anger and said, So, this fellow is a boaster. Whom does he think I am? Does he not know that I am the king of the whole of Denjong? No one can stand against me. Since it is war that he wants, he shall have it. So saying this, Lhasa Mung Ponu collected his demon forces and went to fight Tham Sang Ting. At the sight of the approaching demon force, Tham Sang Ting gave out a full blast of his laugh. <laughs> the earth trembled. And this alone made the demons very much frightened. This, however, could not frighten King Lhasa Mung Ponu. He shouted, Do you think I am afraid of your laugh? How silly of you! I will kill you now. You watch right here. So saying, he sent a shower of arrows upon Tham Sang Ting. But Tham Sang Ting warded them off with no difficulty and <clears throat> sent thousands of very powerful arrows in return. Many demons were killed and the demon force was terribly discouraged. They were at the point of giving up the fight. Lhasa Mung Ponu was shocked. Oh, my warriors are no good, he mourned. Now that the ordinary fight was unsuccessful, Lhasa Mung Ponu turned into a tiger and jumped on Tham Sang Ting, intending to tear him into pieces. But for Tham Sang Ting, this was nothing unexpected. He met the murderous attack with his sword. The tiger fell down mortally wounded. Then Lhasa Mung Ponu took the form of a horse. Raising his tail high, he began to kick Tham Sang Ting with full force. Without fear, Tham Sang Ting took out a spear and thrust it at the horse. The horse started bleeding heavily, but the fight went on. At last, Tham Sang Ting took out an arrow and declared, You wicked demon, I am going to kill you with this one arrow. These words really frightened the demon king. He took the form of an eagle and flew up into the sky. In no time, he was gone. At the flight of the de leader, the demon forces ran away. They took refuge in the depths of the world. The Lepchas now came to thank Tham Sang Ting. They said that Lhasa Mung Ponu should not be left alive. Getting the news that he had escaped to a dangerous mountain called Maroli Blue, they marched there under the leadership of Tham Sang Ting. They found the demon king in the form of an eagle on a tree top. A well-aimed arrow brought the demon down unconscious but soon the eagle got a consciousness and flew up into the sky it settled on another tree but only halfway because it was by now too weak to climb high yet another arrow pierced its heart and finally brought to an end the wicked ki demon king the lepchas rejoiced and thanked god for sending a warrior all hell to the tamzang thing Achule, achule, achule. So this was the end of the story. This, so this is how the dangerous, deadly demon Lhasa Mung Ponu was killed and Tham Sang Ting established peace in the Tenjong. The Lepchas rejoiced, thanked the Lord and peacefully again settled in the Tenjong. So how do you feel about the story? Let me know in the comment below. Please share it with your friends this beautiful story about Sikkim and the Lepchas. I'll continue on with more of this story. Thank you for watching. See you again. Achule.